Hey, what up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. In this Python tutorial, you're going to learn about a library called Chitra that lets you create an ML API in just a very few lines of Python code. So as part of this tutorial, you're going to learn about how to create an NLP API, specifically speaking, a sentiment analysis API using Chitra. And then we are also going to learn about how to run that on Google Colab. So by default, it's not very easy for you to run this on Google Colab. But I'm going to show you a way how you can store this as a file and then run it using Google Colab. So this video has multiple sections. The first section, we're going to create a simple API. In the second section, we are going to run the API using Google Colab. For that, we are going to use a hack. So if you are doing it on your local machine, you don't have to watch the second part of the video. The first part should be fine. Ideally, there should be timestamps in the YouTube description, which should give you the idea of which is the first part and second part. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to install Chitra. Let me close this so that you can see. Yeah, the first thing that you need to do is you need to pip install Chitra. So we are going to install also the serve, mo serve module. So Chitra ideally uses fast API to serve the API. So make sure that, you know, you install it like this so that you have got all the elements, all the required dependencies available. So the first thing, um, I think this is already available for me. In my case, I've already installed, so I'm not going to run this. Second, if you're going to do this on Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook, then you need to install Tornado 4.5.3. Otherwise, you might get an error. So if you're doing it on local machine, it's fine. You don't have to do anything. But if you're doing it on Jupyter Notebook, especially local machine Jupyter Notebook or Google Colab, then you need to install Tornado 4.5.3. Third, you need to install transformers because that's what we're going to use to create a sentiment analysis API. So we're going to use hugging face transformers to create a sentiment analysis API. So we're going to install Chitra. Tornado is ideally installed part of this, but to make sure that this API function, the creating API works fine on Jupyter Notebook, we are going to install specifically Tornado 4.5.3. And then finally, we are going to install transformers, hugging face transformers for us to create the NLP API, which of course indeed requires NLP. Next, once we do that, now we are entering into the code part that helps us create the API. It's, it's just literally four lines of Python code and then you have an API. The first step, import transform from transformers import pipeline, we are going to create a sentiment analysis pipeline. If you're not familiar with pipeline module of hugging face, I've got a separate video about hugging face. I'll link that in the YouTube description where you learn more about hugging face different features and also about pipeline. Next, once you have imported the pipeline, next you need from chitra.surf. Chitra has a lot of components. We can see the documentation. We are going to import create API. Next, you have to create the pipeline, hugging face pipeline with the task that you want. So th the way the hugging face pipeline works is that you specify a task. And then for the task, you get a default model downloaded. So in our case, we are using a sentiment analysis model. So we are saying pipeline sentiment analysis is task and then store the model in classifier. Once you do that, it's going to download the model. In our case, in this particular task, it has defaulted to distal bird base uncased fine tuned SST2 English model. So if you want to know more about this model, you can click this link and this link will ideally take you to the Hugging face model hub where you've got the model details. If you're going to use it in production, if you definitely know what the model is doing. So after you do all these things at this point, you have imported the required libraries, right? Then you have got the pipeline set up. Now all you have to do is use the function create API, supply the model for which you want to create the API, whether you want to run the API at this point and what kind of task this API you're doing, say sentiment analysis falls under text classification. So you know what kind of task. So now when you do this, it's going to create the API, right? So I'm going to run this for you and I'm going to show you. So first create API classifier is the model run. I'm going to say it set it true. And then I'm going to say API type and then which is text classification. I'm going to run it. Once I run this, you would see that the UVCon has started running in this particular local host URL. Now, if you're doing it on your machine by this time, you can click this URL and then it's going to open a swagger page or it's going to probably show something that the API is running or something. And then you can add slash docs to it and then you will be able to see the API documentation on swagger. But in our case, at least where I'm demoing this, or I expect a lot of hobbyist 
or uh, if you have taken a take home assignment you might do it so where you might do it i'm assuming you might do it on google collab so on google collab this will not work because when you click this you're going to get this error because of course this is a local host url like it's it's specific to your machine now we don't have any direct way for us to access it so i'm going to stop this now we are entering the second part of the video where i'm going to show you how to successfully create an api using chitra just using three lines of python code and then serve the api on google collab using something called local tunnel so i've got a separate video for local tunnel which i'll link it in the youtube description you can check it out i'm not going to explain local tunnel but i'm just going to show you what i'm going to do so for you to do that first you need to run a python file in the background like for example like you saw just now right when you run this this is running currently this cell is currently running which means you cannot run any other cell so to overcome this we are going to run this as a background file background process which means the first thing that we need is we need to create this file as a python file so you can see that i have done everything that we did i can i can even this i don't have to assign it to an object i have to assign it to an object like for example i can do like this as well like i can assign it to an object right i can assign it to an object and i can say api dot run i can do this um i mean if you wish to know that there is a different option so we're importing pipeline from transformers we're creating an api we sorry we are importing an api from chitra dot serve and then we are creating a pipeline for sentiment analysis then we are creating an api with this model run do you want to run calls api is equal to text classification and then finally i'm running it at this point when i run this it's going to create a python file so when i i can click this and then you can see there is a python file here this is the same python file so we have for now nothing is happening like no running nothing is happening we have basically taken this entire thing used this magic command write file and this entire text has been written as app.py file that's that's what has happened so you have got a text file which has got app.py and then this code has been pasted inside the text file right so what do we have to do next now we have to find a way to write run this file on run this file on on the machine that we have got like the google collab machine so what we are going to do now is we are going to say like there are multiple ways for us to do that right so let me try the first way and let's see if that works so i have to say python app.py and npx local channel i'm i'm just experimenting at this point okay this is not something that i practiced before making this video so right now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to run a python file also i'm trying to create a local channel for the port 8000 because i know this when we ran this it ran at 8000 right so i know this i know that this ran at 8000 so i'm just trying to see if i can run a python file and then tunnel this url the localhost url and then pass it to the 8000 url like that's what i'm trying and i click this it's going to still throw me an error because this doesn't work why because when i do this thing at this point it started running it and the next command did not execute so my experiment in a live video just failed terribly so don't experiment when you do a live video okay so now what we are going to do now is because because our our experiment failed right you i hope you understand why our experiment failed because our the cell had two components one is to run run a python file and the other one is to tunnel that into a new external url but uh, because the first file was running the second uh, part of the extend uh, second part of the python expression did not execute so all well and good so now what we are going to do now is we are going to execute the same app.py file as a sub process instead of running it as a separate file we are going to run this as a sub process which means this is going to get executed in the background so let me go ahead and then say import sub process right sub process dot p open so you are opening a process where you are invoking python with app dot py file if you have got any arguments then you can pass the arguments here like if if your python file requires any arguments you can pass it here but if you are not passing any arguments that's fine so you have got python the command the the shell command and then the file that's it you are executing once i do this thing 
So we're going to say at this sub process address, whatever this hexadecimal is, this is running. The only disadvantage is you wouldn't know whether there is any error, all these things. So you have to just make sure like, just make sure to run it separately first, like how we did it, then go ahead and then start doing this, whatever I'm currently doing. So at this point, we assume that this app.py file is being currently executed as a background sub process at this address. Okay. Now, all we have to do is you like in your mind, like in your mind, it is getting, you should remember that the UVCon is running on this, this URL, which is your local host for this computer, for this Google Colab machine at this URL, this is running and all you're doing to do now is you're going to say, take whatever is running here and tunnel it to a new URL, an external URL that anybody can access. Let's see, I'm going to say npx local tunnel from which port I want to tunnel, I want to tunnel the port 8000. So I'm going to run this and then test my luck. How is it going to happen? If it's going to give me, okay, it, it has given me an external URL. Let me click this link. When I click this link, it's, it's giving me a warning saying, okay, you are entering a tunnel, just a friendly reminder. People, people, people used to use this for phishing and all these things. So this warning is good. So let me click connect. So what did you see? You saw the detail not found, which means our API is up and running at this point. So let me just move this window a little bit so that you can see. Yes. So I'm going to slash docs, right? I'm going to, let me bring this a little bit down first. Let me bring this a little bit down. You can see that I'm going to slash docs. Okay. It was like this. I'm going to slash docs. Ideally, this should open the swagger page that I just talked about. Swagger page has been opened. So the documentation is open now for you to check. So you can check that this model, this APA has got one endpoint and that endpoint takes post request and you can see what is that endpoint. Endpoint doesn't take any parameters. This is how the request body should be. And then you can try it out. Do you want to try it out? Let's try it out. So let me, let me get this here back. And then let me say, click, try it out. So as you like, I hope you all understand. So we created a file. Let me quickly say we created a file. We ran the file as a sub process. And then we are tunneling that sub process, which is running on our local host, put 8,000 into an external URL. That's the external URL. And what is the sub process? The sub process is basically a Python file that's using a library called Citra to create an API just using a couple of lines of Python code. So at this point, we have got this page, which is a swagger page where I'm going to try out the API. So this is the sample query. You can see I'm going to click try out. Once I click try out, you, you get, you can see that I get to edit this. Uh, let me zoom in so that you know what's happening here. Yeah. At this point I can click try out and I can say something. I can say like this, the Batman, the, the Batman movie was super amazing okay so this let's say this is this is my string for which i want to do sentiment analysis i'm going to say execute after i say execute you can see that it has given you the curl curl command what you can try it on your local machine as well and you can see that it has given you the result which is positive so it is 90 that's the positive score is 99 like mean, doesn't matter the score doesn't matter right what we are doing in this video is we are trying to figure out our API call is successful. So you have tried to create an API just using a couple of lines of Python code using the state of the model of NLP transformers model. And we have used hugging face for that. And we have used Chitra to create this API, just a very few lines of Python code. And we have got the API up and running and the API is working fine. I'm going to end this video by just quickly showing you how you can do this on local machine, right? If, if you have hosted it somewhere, what happens? So now I'm going to copy this. Okay, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to fire up my terminal, right? I've already tried it here. I'm going to clear this. I hope you all can see this. Okay, and I'm going to paste this. The only change that I'm going to make is I'm going to, because you have already seen that I've given a positive command, I'm going to just change it here. I'm going to change it here saying, you know, um, this, this is the, this, this is the place. I want to change the query. I want to change. I want to say, um, I want to say maybe the, the food sucked. Okay. Let's, let's keep it that. 
and then I'm going to execute it. Let's see, let's see if my luck works out. Amazing, right? Immediately you got a result that says negative, and then it's with the score this one. So let, let's try one last time. I can say, I can say this, I can say this, which is let's try that your YouTube channel is amazing, you know. You know, I might sound narcissistic, but that's okay. So positive with 99%. So basically, we have successfully managed to create an API, a state of the art NLP sentiment analysis API using Chitra. We hosted it on Google Collab and we have successfully seen the inference on our local machine. So you, you can understand. I, I hope you can understand. Google Collab machine is a separate machine. My local machine is completely separate. So we have just used two different computers to make an inference. So the code is running on one server, which is Google Collab. And we have made the call from our client machine. We have made a post call. Um, if you're familiar with HTTP request, and then you have successfully got the result. So I'm going to quickly show you Chitra um, because it'd be, it'd be an injustice if I don't show you Chitra. Chitra is an amazing library. It is, it is created by the developer. Aniket Maurya. So thanks to Ankit for making this amazing library and making it open source and the documentation is amazing. I'm going to click the documentation. I'm going to let you read so you can see the components that we have in Sutra. The component that we just explored is serve where we have learned to create a REST API endpoint serving the model. So that's what we have done. But there are so many other things that you can do and I would strongly encourage you to go through this documentation and, um, and uh, read through it. My objective of this video is to introduce Chitra to you and uh, let you learn how to do this on Google Collab. So I hope this, this objective is fulfilled with this video where you learned how to create a state of the art NLP API, ML API using Chitra. And also I hope you learned how to run this on Google Collab. I'm going to stop this so that we are not hosting, we're not, you know, consuming somebody's machine. Um, if you like this video, let me know in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not. 90% of the channel's viewers are not subscribers. That's the start. And make sure that you go star the repository. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any comments, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope you stay safe. Happy coding. Peace.